What's up guys, welcome to the video. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean, and I've got an exciting workout video for you today. Today's workout came in two parts, and the first part was actually really challenging, surprisingly challenging. It was a 12 minute EMOM, alternating EMOM. The first minute you had to do 16 slash 12 calories on the rower, 16 if you're a guy, 12 if you're a girl, and then the second minute was 12 burpees. And um, the burpees actually kind of became the rest part. I was able to push the burpees more than I was able to push the row, but I think I was trying to be conscious about not going too hard on the row, because then you could really screw yourself up. It was more challenging than I thought it would be. But that wasn't the end of the workout. Technically, that was kind of just the warm up to get you ready for the second part of the workout. The second part of the workout was a 15 minute AMRAP of one clean complex. The clean complex consists of one deadlift, one full squat clean, one front squat, and one jerk. The weight for this workout is 165, 115 for RX or 225, 155 for RX plus. I've done this clean complex a couple times and the first time I did it, I didn't even do it RX. This was a couple years ago. This was actually in um, January of 2017. So over two years ago, I did that complex here and I did it at 145 pounds and I got about 17. The second time I did it, I did it at RX and I got about 17 rounds, so a little bit more than one a minute. Then I did it at 185, which is 20 pounds higher than RX, but not quite RX plus, and I got 15 rounds, I think? So I wanted to do 225, this one, get full RX plus, not really expecting 15 rounds. I didn't think that it was, some, it, well, I didn't get it. Like, spoiler alert, I didn't get it. But I just wanted, that was a weight that two years ago, I remember thinking I'd never be able to do that. Not in a million years would I be able to do that weight. And then here I was, being able to rep out a couple rounds at 225 pounds. It just blows my mind.
So we'll, we'll repeat workouts here every now and then. And then we did this workout in November and I kind of remembered it. And then Corey, our coach was like, you remember what you got in this? You got three. And we had 15 minutes to do the complex and I got three of them. And so I was like, okay, fine. I'll try RX again today. And I got 13 plus one deadlift. <laughs> nice. Okay, so what happens with diabetics and the barbell? My sugars are not happy. <laughs> That's your blood sugar? And yeah. your spikes? Yeah, every time I'm stressed out and barbell stresses me out because it's so hard into your body, it always shoots right up. But then like within like 20 minutes, it'll come right back down. But a lot of people will take insulin before their workout when I get too nervous. So I'm trying to figure that out. Now that I'm more removed from the workout, have more time to kind of think about it, I. I'm happy with eight, but I, I want more. Like I'm hungry for more, and we do this every couple months, so I'm excited for the next time we do it. The next goal I think is gonna be 10. Hopefully I get around 10 and 11, and then eventually it's I would love to be able to EMOM that and do it one a minute for 15. I'm gonna end this video with just a couple points, couple things I wanna talk about that are unrelated to the workout, but I think are pretty cool. First thing, last week I put out a video about the Devin Ford situation. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up. It's it's just basically my opinion on all the craziness that happened within the CrossFit world and he actually reached out to me, he reached out to me on Instagram and said, hey man, I just watched your video and I just want to appreciate you for having a fair balanced look at this. Um, a lot of people are kind of going crazy with it and I want to appreciate that your opinion kind of on it. And I thought that was pretty cool because I could have gone on and gone with the hype and bashed him just like everyone else was doing, but um, it just goes to show that even though being nice may not look cool, may not look sexy, and may not be in the lead at halftime, it always wins. Seeing the best in people and in situations always wins. So that was cool. Got a new friendship out of that. And then lastly, today, officially, the Work For Change podcast just hit 100,000 listens. I'll try to make it so you can see it. Oh, right there. Downloads, 100,000. So to everyone who has listened to the podcast, thank you. That's crazy. That is a milestone that uh, I'm very excited to hit. And I cannot wait for the next 100,000 and the next 100,000 and the next couple videos for everyone who's listening to this random mind ramble for over an hour. I really appreciate it. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you to everyone who is constantly coming and constantly listening. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your support. If you want to continue to support this channel in a different way, I do have a Patreon. It's a dollar. That's the only tier I have is a dollar. So if you want to support me there, that'd be cool. And until next time, peace.